So in this quick video, we're just going to look at how we might use proxies, HTTP debug proxies, to help us when we're working with REST APIs. So I'm going to start up Charles. And the reason I'm going to use Charles is that it's a cross-platform proxy, so you can use it on both Windows and Mac. There are plenty of HTTP debug proxies out there. Uh, for Windows, I would recommend Fiddler or Charles. For Mac, Charles is very good. Fiddler doesn't work on the Mac. Well, it kind of does, but... There are open source tools that are designed for security testing, like OWASP Zap and Burp Suite. Both of those will work well. You have to configure your browser to point at them for Zap and Burp Suite. The good thing about Charles and Fiddler when you start is you don't have to really configure anything else. You just start them up and traffic will start flowing through them. So if I've got my proxy up here and I've got the application here and I make a request in Charles, I can see that that request has been made. Uh, so it's done a get on integrations REST API, which is what I typed in there. So I can actually see the requests that are made. Now, the good thing here is if I go to the home screen, I can see what it has requested. So I'm just going to focus in on the 192 ones, which is the, the application that we're interested in. I just add a filter in here so that I only see the requests that we're interested in. So you can see I've made a request to the top there and it's not using the API. It doesn't look like it's hitting any .xml type request. So if I go into projects, let's have a look here. The REST API documentation tells me that I can get a list of contexts. I can also get a list of projects by hitting 192.168.126.129 slash projects. Presumably, if I go to the projects URL here, if it was using the API, then I would see a request for projects.xml and the response would be XML. The response is HTML. It isn't using the API as part of the GUI. Now, the good thing about a proxy is once I've made a request in here, I can actually resend those requests. I can create new requests based on them. So if I do a get for projects.xml, we can see that I actually get the XML back. I've just made a REST API request through my debug proxy. So this debug proxy can let me view the traffic that's coming through the GUI so that I can check whether the GUI is using the REST API. It isn't. I can actually use my current logged in session, which is controlled by the cookies, to make calls to the API, which are listed in the REST documentation. So it's another way of exploring the API. So I could make a request to contexts. If I just compose a request here, put in the context one, execute that. There we go. There's I've made a request to the context API. So rather than using curl, I could use a GUI system like this, but works at the HTTP level. If I'm using curl, I can also send curl through the proxy. So if I find out from Charles what port it's listening on. So Charles is localhost port 8088. Let me just write that down so I forget, so I don't forget. So I can tell curl to make this request in fact, let's use this one. But I want you to go through a proxy. So I'm going to say minus minus proxy and then put in the proxy details. And that's all on one line, so I don't need the continuation character. Put that into, oops. Put that in here. And that's what made that request here. So I've just issued the request. It's gone through. In fact, just to be clear, I'm going to make a request to projects so you can see the difference. 
you can see that it's actually there we go that request I made through curl I told it to use the proxy which is on localhost 88 so I can debug the requests that I'm sending from curl through an HTTP proxy as well that's very useful when I'm exploring the REST API documentation I can see what uh, headers I'm sending, what authentication is done, exactly what request curl is building up. I can see the response, it's pretty printed, which is slightly easier than viewing it in the command line here. Using tools in combination is very useful. So at this point, even though I'm not using a REST API GUI client, I have a GUI client in the form of my proxy. I can use the all the tools that are available from curl and you explore curl and you explore the REST API. And I could do a lot of work testing the API just with a combination of these two tools. But of course, when I start using a REST GUI that's designed to support this, it becomes an awful lot easier. But there you go. That's a quick overview of how we use HTTP proxies in combination with REST API testing along with curl. Thank <laughs> you.